Hi there, I'm Tom Farrand, Solutions Engineering Lead here at Selden. Today I wanted to talk you through a few of the capabilities that we have around serverless deployments um, and particularly our use of KF Serving. KF Serving provides us a great way of uh, setting up scale to zero machine learning deployments and we can see that we've already got one set up here. We also have a number of Selden core deployments but we'll be focusing on the KF Serving model for this instance. Furthermore, as well as the running deployments, we also have a model catalog, which features any model that's previously been deployed onto the platform. And we can attach arbitrary metadata, such as tags like who created it. And we can also define a prediction schema related to the categories and features that we'd expect. This gives us precise insight and understanding of the deployments we've created. If we now drop into our KF serving model, we can see it's a scikit-learn income classifier and we've configured a model explainer as well. Let's make use of those now. If we make a new prediction, we can go ahead and drop in the instances we expect and then select predict. We can see we've generated a successful prediction once the instance had spun back up again. We can now generate an explanation from that. And we can see that the reason this person has been classified as low income is the fact that their marital status is never married, so they're likely single, and also they work in a historically lower paying occupation, being admin. It's worth bearing in mind the data set for this is from 1994, so it's probably not the most up-to-date of references. However, it does demonstrate the capabilities. We can see here that we can have a really easy way of understanding the, feature in the, the most important features that are driving the decision-making of our model. Additionally, we can see a huge number of different perturbed instances that our explainer tried when creating that uh, prediction. Returning to the dashboard, we can also see that we can add and roll out canaries, allowing us to upgrade and, uh, and roll out newer versions of our model in a controlled and, and correct manner. And we can also add advanced machine learning monitoring components in the form of outlier detection and drift detection. This provides us a great way of understanding how the, how the data is impacting our model's performance and picking up on any outliers or uh, anomalous data points that we care about. So that's all I really wanted to show today. There's a huge amount of more, more, amount more capability within the platform and we can see how our model has been scaling up and down over time due to this pod count graph. So we can see as it's being used, those pods have been scaling back up again. Um, but I just wanted to reiterate the power and the serverless capability that we have within the Selden Deploy platform and its scale to zero components. So thanks very much for your time and enjoy the rest of your day.